Hi Cancer, welcome to your Spirit Guide Messages for the month of June. This is Mary. This is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Cancer, we're going to take a look at what Spirit wants you to know at this time. We're going to get three messages from each deck, and then I'll clarify those energies with the tarot. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, male or female. It's a general collective reading. So please only take the messages as they resonate for you. Not every message may be for you. So please keep that in mind. So I hope everybody's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. And everything you need to know about me, Cancer, is down below in the description box. So you can check that out. Lots of information down there. And if you're new and you like my style, my energy, how I read, check out my channel. Um, you get about four or five readings a month, and they're all different. So feel free to check that out. And if you do subscribe, don't forget to hit the little bell. And you'll be notified when I post new readings. And if you do, thank you and welcome to the channel. All right, for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, male or female, general collective reading. Spirit, please, what is most needed? Three messages from each deck, and then we'll clarify the messages with the tarot. Spirit, please, thank you so much. Thank you so much. If you're interested in past readings, um, links are below to your uh, playlist, Love in General. All right, three messages for Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, male or female, general collective, for Cancer, please. Decks are be uh, listed below also if you're interested in what decks I am using. All right, Cancer. Let's see what Spirit wants you to tell you at this time. For Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, male or female, general collective. What are the three most important messages for Cancer, please? One, two, one more. One more. Thank you. All right, let's see what we have from the fairies. We have honoring your true feelings. This is about being honest with yourself and being true to yourself and your feelings, whether that's expressing them to another. It could be a love situation. It could be about um, a person, a place, thing, situation here. And it's about honoring your heart, your soul, your mind, and how you truly, truly feel and not burying it down uh, deep down inside and putting up a mask or a front or um, not lying, but kind of not being honest either kind of energy. And we have here new locations. So some of you may actually be moving here. And we have beauty. So this is seeing the beauty in yourself, the beauty in all things, beauty in uh, others, people, places, things around you. Not to uh, overlook that either, that you are somebody of great beauty if you don't feel that way. Spirit wants to say, look at your inner beauty, not just your physical outer beauty, outer beauty, and also look look that way to others also. All right, so let's see what we have here from the mermaids. Playtime. The dolphins know the importance of playing as joy creates miracles and manifestations. So it's time to get out there, have some fun. And I know we're all in quarantine now, so it's hard to go out and have some fun. Uh, but if you can go out and side in your yard or even you know playing some games with your family or just dancing around the house i don't know do something fun uplifting to raise your vibration whatever you enjoy doing like doing um it's time to have some fun and play raise your vibration some way shape or form we have you're being helped heaven is working behind the scenes to help you even if you don't see the results yet so whatever you're working towards striving towards or waiting on results on, and you're unsure, not sure of the results, what's going to happen, what the future holds. You know, just know the divine heaven source is working behind the scenes, sort of like um, divine intervention, divine uh, timing, fate, destiny, distrust in the process. And we have here, what's your thoughts? It's important to only think about what you desire, not what you fear. So just know that any negative thinking, doubts, fears, worries, anxious energy will really won't do anybody any good and only kind of draws that kind of energy back to you, you know, in person, places, and things and situations around you. And it's important to kind of watch your thoughts, try not to get into that negative mindset 
of that low vibration. And I think that's why we have playtime here, to kind of raise your vibration. So whatever you think, feel, and if it's not in a um, positive energy or high vibration, you can draw whatever your... Um, feeling, thinking, expressing, you can kind of draw that energy back to you in a way. So it's, be careful to watch that. Because you see this, uh, she's looking in the mirror. So whatever, you know, source sees you doing, it reflects back to you in a way, if that makes sense. So let's see what the unicorns have to say. Brothers and sisters, to get along with others, see the love and the best within them. So if there's any... Um, situations right now with your family or this is telling you to really appreciate your brothers and sisters if you have brothers and sisters or people around you family friends that are like family to truly appreciate them if there's any outings or disagreements maybe it's time to try to heal and mend situations between family or your tribe or people around you that are like family and it says, to get along with others, see the love and the best within them. So keep that in mind also, within you and them. And we have, you are gifted, you are very intelligent and talented. So some of you may hear, here may have some gifts you need to share with the world, whether they're spiritual or it's wisdom, advice, guidance in some way, shape, or form. It's letting you know that you do have a gift in some way to share with the world, I feel. We have definitely yes. Well, that kind of goes with that. The answer to your question is a strong yes. So whatever you're wondering about in life right now um, is yes. And if it's whatever here you're waiting results on or wondering about over here with your being helped, the answer over here too is definitely yes. So whatever that means for you, you have an answer of yes. So, all right. So let's clarify these energies for you cancer at this time sun moon rising venus jupiter male or female general collective let's clarify these messages for you cancer all right so what is honoring your true feelings about what is that about for some of you again only take these messages how they resonate for you every single message may not resonate so please keep that in mind just take the messages you feel are for you what do we have here? So we have the sun and we have the page of wands. So the page of wands is communication. It's good news. It's, you know, being passionate about your thoughts, your ideas, your beliefs, your true feelings and expression. So we have the sun here, which is total happiness, joy, fulfillment, healing, um, enlightenment, success, victory in every single way, most positive card in the deck. So I feel here, and this is you expressing. So honoring your true feelings and not being afraid to express them either. Whatever they may be, it could be love, it could be just whatever in any situation, any time, instead of, you know, maybe putting up a front or whatever or just not saying anything, it's time to stand in your truth, your integrity, be passionate, fiery, stand for what you believe in without going overboard or being cocky or anything like that or, you know, ego driven, but just kind of like in your own energy and this will bring you the ultimate happiness and life that you seek and that's honoring and expressing your true self, your true feelings in any given situation, whatever that may be. If you've never been the type, maybe you're shy or maybe you hold back or you don't really express yourself, it's time to um, start expressing yourself more often. All right. Especially if you feel passionate about something and you, you know, don't say anything. All right, so... Let's see here. What is this new location? I feel like some of you may be moving. Maybe moving, um, you could be moving jobs. You could be moving home. Um, it could be permanent. It could be temporary. You know, maybe it's time to make a temporary move. That makes sense for some reason. Or maybe, you know, for work purposes, career purposes, when we're all able to travel again, you have to move your loca location for a short period of time due to something with your work. For some of you. So what is this about? So we have justice. So it could be some of you something in the legal field. You could be inheriting a home. You could be, you know, getting a divorce and needing to move um, here or something with the justice system. Or maybe there's something where um, you legally have to move out of where whatever your location that you're in for some reason. Doesn't mean it's something bad. Um, 
you know, it could be, you know, maybe if you rent property, the owner passed away and now the house is sold or the complex is sold and now, you know, somebody has to move. And it could be any reason with the legal system in some way, shape or form that you have to move. So we have the tower. So this could be something unexpected. Yeah, that's what I felt. Something unexpected wherever you are now. This is, hasn't happened. Something may happen. It may not be in May. It could be in any time or, or June. I'm recording this in May. But it could be any time. I do consider all my readings timeless. So there may be something unexpected that happens where you're living now. Be careful um, of all your electric things. Make sure, Check everything carefully that, you know, there's not a fire or something like that. Because I'm getting that tower energy. I don't want to scare anyone. But just be careful of electronics and things like that during bad thunderstorms and things like that. Um, if it's not that something, there's a major change here or a shift or a change or a surprise or a shock or something unexpected. And something with the legal, something with legal uh, legalities or something. If it's not legalities, it's just, just saying, you know, divine energy here is saying that it's something that's just going to happen. It's like you can't control it. It's like from the universe that may, you may have to move. Yeah, okay. That makes sense for some of you. All right. So, and I think they want you to know that wherever you're going, wherever you, you know, may have to move to, just uh, make sure that you're happy with wh whatever you choose, that you really um, don't just settle. And I think everything will be fine. So what is this beauty about for Cancer? So we have the Four of Wands. So look how they're looking at each other, you know, very calm, peaceful. This is about home life, stability in the home life, ceremony, celebrations. What else? And the Eight of Swords. So there may be something in your home life that you're a little stuck in your head about. Uh, worried about your stability or worried about um, your foundation or something with your, again, because we got a new location and home here. I'm getting that fire again. Just be careful. <laughs> be careful with uh, during thunderstorms. Unplug everything. Um, check everything. Make sure you know your smoke detectors are working. All that kind of energy. Um, but this is you know just appreciating what you have now. If you're a little concerned about things, it's stuck in your head about uh, your home. Maybe things aren't going so well, or finances aren't so good, or it's a little rocky right now for some reason. You know, I mean, I see these two people coming together. They're very uh, peaceful, harmonious. They're happy. They're kind of in like a celebratory energy. So just be thankful and see the beauty in what you do have now in your current situation. So everything always could be worse. So just be thankful, have gratitude, and appreciate what you see the beauty in everything that you do have now, even though you may be a little concerned or stuck in your head about something uh, concerning your home life. Okay, so what is this playtime about for Cancer? Four of Swords. So, yeah, this is kind of just laying there. Four of Swords, resting, rejuvenating, just kind of like not taking any action. You know, we're all in quarantine right now, and I've been getting this message. This is second reading with the same message. I just did Aries, and they got this message. So I think this is a message for everybody in quarantine right now that, you know, we can control our own home environment, that we just don't have to lay, lay there and take it. We can get out. We can... You know, go out in the yard, you know, act like, go outside and act like a fool. I mean, the fool energy, yeah, who cares? You know, in your own yard, who cares what you do? You know, go outside, act like a fool, have some fun, um, do something crazy, foolish, fun, and playful. Instead of kind of just laying down, taking the energy that we're all in right now. And, you know, it's about manifesting something new also. With the, man, uh, the fool energy, taking a leap of faith on something also that means anything for anyone so let's see what you're being helped heaven is working behind the scenes to help you even if you don't see the results yet so what are you being helped with hermit so there's that hermit energy again we're all stuck in quarantine so this is over this is thinking contemplating healing uh, rejuvenating um, trying to find a solution the way the light so just know you know you're, you're Maybe overthinking this also. So here's the temperance angel here. You got two majors on this. This temperance angel brings in what's divinely guided to you with uh, peace, harmony, 
balance. It's telling you to be patient. So just be patient. It may take a little more time. Don't overthink it too much. That the path will be illuminated to you. What's meant for you will come to you in divine timing. But uh, remain balanced. Things will balance out. There will be peace and harmony. All right. So maybe some are worried, you know, being quarantined right now, locked down, stuck at home, worried about that situation for some reason. But um, you will see the results that you're aiming for or waiting for. So, so what is this? What's your thoughts about? So we have the Four of Cups and the Two of Swords. Yeah, the Two of Swords is about, you know, being in your head or being a little indecisive or unsure. And the Four of Cups here is feeling, you know, he's meditating. Usually the Four of Cups is about boredom, melancholy, um, missed opportunities, that kind of energy, just feeling kind of blah and indecisive. So if you're in that low vibrational energy, it's time to, you know, watch, watch that energy and not just be in that energy, that low vibrational energy to re really try to raise your vibration and get into more uh, positive thoughts and energy. You know, maybe try praying, meditating, uh, listening to some relaxation music, meditation music. You can Google a lot of things on YouTube to help with that. So you may want to do that also. All right. So, and again, with the Four of Cups there, you see, you know, he's kind of just in a meditative, meditative state, you know, and just kind of sitting there like we're all in quarantine right now. So, all right. So what is this brothers and sisters about for cancer, death. So if there's been an ending, I don't, I'm not taking like it's an actual death, but if there's been like an out, outs, if you've been on the outs, maybe some uh, close relationships ended um, here. And it could be, you know, family or people around you that were like family, um, you know, but death is also about transformation, transcending. So, you know, maybe this, can be salvaged and transformed if we can heal it. Yeah, he is reuniting. If we can reunite, come back together with people that we once ended or on the outs with. Here's celebrating, rejoicing, reuniting, come back together. Some of you may have, you know, two or three uh, siblings. May not be all of them, may be one or two or some people that are like family, but it's time to reunite, come back together so we can transform maybe some kind of ending that there was here. So you are gifted. What is that about? You are very intelligent and talented, Cancer. Six of Cups. So this is something, a talent. Uh, you could be very uh, spiritual. You could be psychic. You could be, um, you know, have a lot of intuition, higher knowing kind of energy too. And it may have been something that you've had in a past life with the Six of Cups of en energy or something that maybe you've kept hidden within you since you were a child. You know, maybe some gift or something here because you see the kind of digging in the sand and burying. So maybe you've buried it, you know, deep inside you that you've had this gift. Uh, you know, because cups can be about intuition, higher knowing, also psychic abilities. So if you've had that ability since you were a child and you've hidden it because you were afraid of it, um, you know, maybe it really broke your heart here to have to hide your talents, your gifts, maybe being afraid of being shamed by others. Or, you know, being deemed, uh, you know, not a good thing. Let's see if we get one more on that. I don't feel comfortable leaving it at that. I can't, sir. Ten of Swords energy. Yeah, I feel like you buried it deep and down inside you to, like, never resurrect it again. Like, because <laughs> the Ten Swords is about ending, so I feel like you kind of pushed it aside, ended, ended that energy in a way, if that makes sense. Um, I think it caused you a lot of pain to have to do that, to hide those gifts. I think you knew you had them. You know you had them, and you've had them in past lives, and you maybe you had them since childhood, but I think you buried them deep inside kind of energy. All right, so let's see. Let's get one more. I don't know, because I feel like I feel like you need to share your gifts with the world. And I feel like you, you just, I don't know, let's see. Yeah, the lover's here. So this is making a conscious choice to do what's best for you. 
more aligned with you, your true self, your true soul, you know, loving yourself to do the right thing, to make the right choice. So that's a good energy. So I feel like you need to share your gifts with the world here. No longer, because we got another six, so we got two sixes here. And that's healing and balancing energy. All right, so. And I see luck expansion with the rainbow. The star kind of reminds me of the star energy here, which is dreams coming true, faith, hope, optimism, healing energy, divinely guided energy. Do you feel it divinely guided to share your gifts? Spirit's saying you have a lot of talent and very intelligent in whatever you do. If it's spiritual or if it's something else, and it's time now to share that with the world. So what is this definitely yes? I, the answer to your question is a strong yes. So we have the Ten of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. So whatever crossroads you're at right now, whatever decision you need to make, whatever path you need to choose to go down, this person is kind of tied and bound at a crossroads, like not really getting up, making a choice to like untie himself and choose a wand, choose a path to go down. Um, kind of like he knows, you know, he's got the bird there or maybe, you know, receiving a message about what path to go down or, you know, your intuition or higher knowing. But just know that whatever you choose here is a definite yes because it can lead you to the Ten of Pentacles here. Happy home and family, wealth, abundance, prosperity for the future, legacy, family dynamic, happy, you know, total stability within the family dynamic for the long term. So I do see a lot of growth and abundance there. And once you choose a path or you're choosing a path to go down, the answer is a definitely a strong, strong yes for you, Cancer. Wow, Cancer. Okay, Cancer, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say to my channel, it's always, always shine your light.